All right. Okay, we are going to dissect our pigs here. Uh, first thing you're going to do is determine whether it is male or female. Okay, there's a few different ways you can do that. Uh, one is to look on the back. So if you have two openings in the back, then you have a female. Okay. Um, if you look at the male, there's only going to be one opening in the back. Uh, and you might also be able uh, to make out the testes sticking out there. Uh, the uh, male urethra is going to exit here by the umbilical cord. Okay, but that might be harder to see. Okay. Uh, don't uh, try to judge whether it's male or female um, by nipples on the belly because they both have them in fetal pigs. Okay. All right, the next thing you're going to do is dissect the masseter muscle. Uh, that's the one that's going to move the jaw. So you're going to want to come in to the cheek. And go ahead and cut in there. Cut around that connective tissue. All right. What you'll see is that the masseter muscle uh, forms sort of a circular shape right here. I've cut it right here, but this is the outline, circular shape, and we could get rid of some of this connective tissue surrounding it to expose it a little more clearly. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to go in to the thoracic, that's the chest, and the abdominal cavities, and examine those organs. around the umbilical cord on either side. And now we're also going to cut through the ribs. First thing you're going to notice uh, is we can just go ahead and cut this. All right. First thing we're going to look for is the diaphragm. So here is the liver right here, okay. and then if you go towards the pig's head, the diaphragm is going to be this muscle, smooth uh, muscle that's going to separate the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. Okay. You should be able to feel it and see it. Okay, now that we've identified it, we can go ahead and rip the diaphragm so that we can better open up the cavity. Okay. So here is the liver, as we mentioned. Now, you're also going to have to identify the gallbladder. If you take a look inside the liver, okay, the gallbladder is going to be greenish. It's going to be a greenish sac inside the liver. So you can go ahead and poke that out so you can identify the gallbladder. Okay. Below the liver is going to be the stomach, okay. which is this big inflatable pouch right here. Okay. And right below the stomach uh, and partially attached to it by connective tissue is going to be the spleen. Okay. Now if you look at the stomach, all right, it's going to meet up with the small intestines at a part of the small intestines called the duodenum. I'm going to go ahead and drain this fluid. And it's going to be tricky to find, but right where the stomach meets the small intestines is going to be the pancreas. So, if we look here, here with the finger that's moving is the stomach, and then here we see the duodenum, the beginning of the small intestines, and right below it okay, is the spongy looking organ, and that is going to be your pancreas. Okay. If we follow 
the rest of the small intestines, we'll see the main part of the small intestines, the ileum. Okay. And we can follow the small intestines all the way to where they meet the large intestines. Okay. Here's the large intestines. You can see in general they're a lot greener than the small intestines. One part of the large intestines I want you to find okay, is right where small meets large. So here we see the end of the small intestines and here's the beginning of the large intestines. Okay, there's this pouch, okay. uh, the cecum or the sesum. So make sure you'll be able to identify that. Okay. If we follow the small intestines uh, all the way, eventually it leads to the rectum. And here we can see the rectum, also green, uh, leading out to uh, the anus at the back of the pig. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to remove some of these organs so that we can get a better view inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, the liver out. Cutting through all those blood vessels that have been dyed blue with latex. That's the inferior vena cava. So here's our liver. And remember, attached to the liver is our gallbladder. Uh, and then here we have the stomach. the stomach right at the pyloric sphincter valve with the small intestines. Okay. So here's our stomach and attached to our stomach is going to be our spleen. Oops. So go ahead and cut the spleen that I just ripped off from the stomach. Okay. So I put it into three pieces but here is the spleen. And then here's the stomach. All right. And we can see part of that pancreas attached to the stomach. So I'll go ahead and detach that. So we got some pancreas, stomach, and spleen. We're going to go ahead and cut out the intestines here. I'm just going to cut it right around the beginning of the rectum. Okay. So here's small and large intestines. And we can go ahead and separate the two. see the end of the small intestines meeting the large intestines, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut. Okay. Here's the large intestines, including that pouch, uh, and here's our small intestines. Okay. Going back to look at the pig, okay, now that we've got those out, uh, we can see uh, the kidneys. So we got one kidney here on the left and one kidney here on the right. And now left and right are going to be determined by uh, the animal we're dissecting. So uh, this is going to be the left kidney. And we can go ahead and remove it from its um, covering. Okay. So here you can see the kidney. And then I'm going to go ahead and also cut it out. So there's the left kidney. Uh, now if we examine here, we can see the bladder in the middle here, okay, uh, with two umbilical vessels on either side. And if we were to continue to follow um, 
the bladder down, uh, we would see that it ends in a tube. That's going to be the urethra that's going to lead uh, out the penis in this case because it's a male. Okay. Uh, if we were to remove the protective covering from the kidneys but not remove the kidneys, we'd see that there is a tube okay, uh, right here. Here's the kidney. There's the tube from the kidney. Uh, and that is going to um, carry the urine from the kidney into the bladder. Okay. All right, if we move into the thoracic cavity, all right, uh, we can see right away the heart right there in the middle. Uh, which is normally surrounded by a pericardium, but I've just ripped the pericardium off of it. Okay. Uh, and now if we look on either side of the heart, we'll see the lungs. Okay. So here's our heart. Here is the right lungs. And here. is the left lungs. Uh, if we move up, all right, uh, you've got the thymus, which is this huge organ in fetal pigs. You can see all the spongy tissue in here. Okay, lots of spongy tissue in here. All right, uh, right here is the larynx. That's going to be the voice box, and the larynx is going to attach the trachea. So if we just get in here, we'll be able to see that good. Okay. All right, so here you can see the larynx. It's hard. Okay. And then we see the rib structure of the trachea, aka the windpipe, carrying uh, air down into the lungs. Okay. should also be able to see uh, carotid arteries and veins and uh, jugular veins, carotid arteries and jugular veins carrying blood into the skull. Um, so here's one of our uh, carotid arteries in the lighter color and then right next to it is going to be one of the jugulars in blue. So we can see the carotid in pink and the jugular in blue. Because this is a male, if we come over here, we can go ahead and dissect the scrotal sac um, to look at a couple of the particular parts of the male anatomy. So if we go and I'm just going to cut out the whole testes here, poor pig. Again, there's going to be a connective tissue surrounding it. We're just going to go ahead and cut that off. and expose uh, the full part of the male reproductive structure. Okay, here this bean shape organ is going to be uh, the testy, and then around it is this epididymis, which is kind of coiled in appearance um, around it. And so the sperm is going to travel uh, and develop. It's going to go from the testes into the epididymis, and then the epididymis ultimately connects to the tube that's going to run uh, to the penis. So here's that tube. That's the vas deferens. That's why there's a vas deferens between men and women. Okay. If we go over here uh, to look at the female pig, I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. Uh, and we'll see if there's any reproductive structures left in it. Okay. All right. The female pig's different. Again, remember there's going to be uh, two openings in the back. Uh, if we look down here near the bladder, okay, we're going to see the squiggly structure. And if you follow the squiggles, you'll see it's attached to a small bean-like structure. So that's going to be the ovary. Okay? And then the squiggle is going to be the oviduct. So the egg is going to travel from the ovary down the oviduct to uh, the uterus. And this is going to be one on each side of the pig. Okay, and then right below the bladder, there's the other one. So there's ovary one and ovary two. Right below the bladder, we can follow them to where they meet uh, at the uterus down there. Okay. 
So that's the pig dissection. Good luck studying.